Still some busy weather out there. We still have some heavy rain uh, on the west coast of Florida that we're going to have to keep an eye on. Uh, thunderstorms firing up just south of Naples and waves of rainfall working from a Lauderdale and Miami and up the coastline. Massive uh, band that has developed over the Gulf Stream. Now, most of that will stay just off the coastline, uh, luckily for us, but we do have more rain that's filling in, more heavy rain. Um, almost the entire area is picking up at least some rain uh, as we uh, get into the uh, late morning and early afternoon uh, with, uh, you know, this uh, rainfall that's around the West Coast. This is really starting to uh, develop now. That is uh, around Naples and Fort Myers and, uh, of course, uh, moving toward the east with lots of lightning here, some gusty winds, and it looks like this should be around for the next few hours. Now it moves uh, our way uh, through 10, 11, and the noon hour and it'll eventually make it into our area as we get into the uh, early, uh, late morning, early afternoon. So something to watch. Now, as far as uh, what we're looking at with the uh, rainfall, uh, it eventually does taper off. We do turn off the tap, but it's going to take a few hours for that to happen. There's 1130 this morning, still some big showers and storms as we get into 1, 1 30 in the afternoon. Finally, some dry air working in and that'll bring in some late day sunshine in some spots, not everywhere. And Sunday looking a lot brighter. Winds coming in from the north and the northwest, which is a big improvement too. And there's that burst of thunderstorm activity, which is right around Naples and Fort Myers. The latest, uh, the winds at 40 miles an hour. This will not develop into a depression or a storm, at least not as it works across Florida, uh, but it has another chance as it heads toward Bermuda and away from our area on Sunday and on Monday. We've had gusty winds, upwards of 50 and 55 mile an hour wind gusts along the coastline, uh, big winds and some nasty waves along the beaches too. Be careful out there. Flood advisory or flood watch, well, there are numerous flood advisories. There's a flood watch for the entire area. That is in effect as we head into uh, Sunday morning should be discontinued after that. So keeping a close eye, more rain on the way. It's gonna be the afternoon, I think for most before we taper off. Oh, Katya, take it away, Katya. Right. Is there anything more tropical than this scene right here? This is a live look outside Delray Beach. Oh, of course, uh, didn't I say this happens? Uh, 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 Every time I take this camera, it starts loading. Oh, there it goes again. Oh, it's it, impressive, though. Yeah, still pretty impressive. Uh, you can see those palm fronds flapping around in those winds. You can see that heavy rainfall coming down, that surf. Pretty rough out there, so definitely not a really good beach day. And uh, yeah, definitely looks uh, like we've got a tropical system on our hands, still dealing with those tropical downpours pushing into the area. We've really stacked on those rain totals over the last 24 hours, especially towards coastal Palm Beach County. Boca Raton, it is cloudy. We've got that rain moving through Port St. Lucie, a similar scene for you. And Okeechobee also seeing those cloudy conditions. Here's a look at the rain Radar indicated a rainfall totals just over the last 24 hours. Boca up through Boynton Beach seeing significant amount of rainfall over the last uh, day or so. Talking four to five inches of rain on the radar and then upwards of two to three inches of rainfall up around the West Palm Beach area. Yep, it's still coming on down here. And as Steve was talking about, we've got another round of rainfall, this band of heavy rainfall uh, developing across uh, southwest Florida, and that will eventually push into our area as well. So we're going to continue to add up those rain totals at least for the first part of your Saturday and then things do start to get a little bit better as we head into this evening and then by Sunday. Hey, it's actually going to be a nice day. So you, the weekend will, will not be a complete washout. You will get some time to get out there and soak in that South Florida sunshine. In the meantime, here's looking at your hour by hour forecast. A rain chance is highlighted in the middle here. And you can see those rain chances on the higher end for the first part of the day. And then they start to decrease for the later part of the day by this evening. Maybe a great evening to go for a walk where we'll see uh, rain chances on the lower side, partly cloudy temperatures down to the low 80s and then upper 70s by around 9, 10 o'clock tonight.